Welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Betches, not to be confused with Books and Snails. Snails. I'm Kristen and with me I have Snarka. Maria. That's Erica <laughs> and Maria. Uh, this I is love a- how every episode you say it. I have to. It's, it's come to that to the point where it's just part of the open. Yeah. It's always like, that's Erica. That's Maria. <laughs> uh, this is a book podcast usually. Uh, we swear we it spoil. It is a book podcast. We swear we spoil. We talk about sex and we suck at podcasting. <laughs> Um, but this week I kind of missed the suck at all of it. This week we're yeah. not doing a book. We're doing a book. It is a book. We're doing but it's a, a book movie. that's also a movie. Oh, it is it's a book. Movie you episode. Movie. Okay, so let me be clear. Uh, yes, this yeah, is a book. Dummy. We didn't read the book. <laughs> we watched the movie. I, I read a couple chapters in the book. I need you to hear that Did we read didn't the read the book. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you read the end. Why do I pretend like I'm surprised? I know. <laughs> so, but, but I, so let's make that clear. So mm-hmm. nobody comes for us. We well, watched we the movie. Do. We didn't read the book. And the movie that we're talking about today is what, Erica? A Song of Snails <laughs> and Songbirds. And Maria, what's the name of this book? <laughs> a Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Wait, that might be wrong. That <laughs> might be wrong. You might be. <laughs> I think I nailed it. <laughs> Who even was the author of this book? Uh, of- Suzanne, Suzanne Collins. Collins. Okay, yeah. As you know, Hunger Games, this is a prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy. Was it a trilogy? It was a trilogy. Was yeah. A trilogy, Back when yeah. trilogy. Four movies, right. three books. Oh. Because that's Harry m- Potter set that precedent. Yeah. I miss when trilogies were a hit. You know? I To be fair, I think the Potter trilogy. Potter. The Harry Potter trilogy. Like, that wasn't uh, a trilogy. Series, though, needed that seventh book to be split. No, no, no. I loved that. There I think was... they should have done that. No, I'm saying, but I miss trilogies. Like, But like trilogies. the Twilight series, I don't know if it needed two movies. How you long know was the mean? Twilight series? How many books? Four. Four books. Too but many. it had five movies. Just one too but many. They, but, but the reason they did that is so that they could extend... They can make more they money. They can make more money off two and, movies. And it's, it was the height of the same time as um, Deathly Halls was coming out. So. Yeah. But that's it was, what I'm saying. Like, Harry Potter like started that trend yeah. of like breaking books the last book into like two movies and you know what i think the hunger games when they did it i think it worked too. it made sense it made perfect sense i remember i watched part two and never had watched part one of mocking jay i had gone like to there with garrett yeah. i think and i'm just in, like i don't know what happened to this pita bread man but it seems like a bad time well it's wild because i watched it like <laughs> he's having a bad time. i watched it three years ago no when i was in tennessee yeah so like three years ago and i i could not tell you what happened i forget all of it Hunger Games? So, yeah. Hunger Games? I know the main premise. I don't know. I forgot it all. The Hunger Games, uh, actually, I'm, I, don't, uh, I don't know how to say this. Um, oh, boy. So I read, them in, <laughs> I read them in college, like when I was like 20, 19 or whatever. No, 20. 20 or 19, you 20, were not in college? I was 19, 20. Oh, okay. Got That's it. what I'm trying to say. Got but it, um, I read them all illegally. Whoa! Um, it was like the only lock her first, up. It was the first series I've ever read like illegally. How bad do you feel about it now? Looking back, yeah. I don't feel bad at all because like <laughs> oh, that was just like it was the age of of doing everything illegally. Just because watch, everybody was doing it doesn't no, mean it was no, right. No, 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 no. that was the <laughs> age of everyone doing everything illegally. That yeah, was like, like I we murdered were, him, but everybody was doing it. So. Every, everyone was like illegally <laughs> no, watching movies. Everybody remember was, that? Like the, remember the one, DX two, three cams? movies. Yep. Yeah, like the you would watch it. You would literally Limeware. you would literally watch a movie where somebody brought a camera into yep. a movie theater <laughs> I, we and recorded the, the movie. DVDs when I was growing up. The bootlegs uh, of the people. Oh yeah, just, like, the camcorder. Oh shit yeah, in the back. that was That's the what shit. I mean. Like that was literally the age of of yeah. like online piracy. like piracy. And then yeah. they cracked down on it, and you're like, oh, that's bad. Oh, like, you, like <laughs> I don't know why we didn't think that that was bad. I don't know because we were just, children. We just got the thing. Well, also the internet was kind of like new, new, and we were still figuring it out. Exactly. Exactly. And like at the same time, you're I forgive you. But at the same time, <laughs> I like, I, it's also kind of like a little bit like fuck the man. You know what I mean? Like you make too much money. Like wh- who gives a shit if I like. No, mm. I totally disagree. with. No, that. like I have no money. They have a shit ton of money. I can like. Yeah, but I can. But Suzanne Wright illegally. probably didn't have that Suzanne much money Collins. at the time. Suzanne Collins. Did I, I say mean, Suzanne it was, Wright? It was a pretty Suzanne. famous book series. Still, yeah, it, it took time to build. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like there is that like, kind hard. of sentiment <laughs> a little bit. But um, yeah, it was like the age of piracy. I feel so. that way about billionaires, but I don't know about like Suzanne Collins, who's like working her ass off to write these books for people to enjoy. And then 
All right. I well, mean, moving as past a college it. kid, I think anybody that like had a real job. You're yeah. Moving like, past yeah, yeah, yeah. Erica's <laughs> illegal tendencies. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, all right. So do you want me to do the 60 seconds? Yeah, you are. Yeah, but I need. I mean, give me your phone. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Don't mock me like that. Yeah. It's a wait, mocking yeah, Jay. Wait, was that the right title? Yeah. No. I got it right. Oh. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I just did like eight laps trying to reset it. <laughs> I just kept saying <laughs> lap one, lap two. All right. Um, <laughs> if you're new to this podcast, we do this thing where we attempt to explain the entire plot summary of a book or a movie in 60 seconds or less. We haven't had week, a movie episode in a while. No, we haven't. This week, I'm doing The Ballad <laughs> of Songbirds <laughs> and Snakes. Should have squint. Look at my laptop screen. Uh, originally a book by Suzanne Collins. Now a movie directed by who knows who. Um, All right. In three. Two. Oh, shit. Is it Cornelius or Cornelius? Yeah. Cornelius. Okay, Cornelius Snow. No, Corleanus. Can we start over? Wait, what? It's Corleanus. Oh, Because I kept saying, like, you're just calling him anus. Yeah, Corleanus. Okay. okay, start over. Three, two. Corleanus Snow. Uh, we're getting his backstory. As you know, Snow in the future books becomes President Snow, and he's an asshole. So we're figuring out why. Um, he's broke, but he lives in the capital and he needs to win this money so that he can get a scholarship and do great things. And to do that, he has to mentor somebody going into the Hunger Games. Uh, the Hunger Games are still like kind of new, but have been around. And he gets paired with Lucy Gray, who sings for no reason. Mm -hmm. And he has to help her win the Hunger Games, which he does, though he cheats. They find out that he cheats because one of the guys is kind of after him because he hates his dad. They find out that he cheats and he gets sent away um to the districts 20 seconds uh banished basically lucy's like let's run away together he kills somebody that's in the rebels that he shouldn't have and now they're trying to hunt him down so his whole livelihood is at stake so he agrees to run away with seconds. lucy figures out that he actually can get away with it and then says fuck you lucy gray i care about my Four, family and money only three, and ditches her and two, becomes the man we know today one. an asshole that was so that good was so good that was good I watched great. it last night. <laughs> but even though watching it last night, you still did really well. Um, yes, I watched it last night. I did fall asleep through a couple parts, but... Uh, you always fall asleep through these movies. I know. But I, I, this is my second time watching it, to be True. fair. Overall, Overall, I liked this movie. I liked it, too. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I just didn't like her singing all the time. Me, too. I thought that was an unpopular <sighs> I opinion. didn't care for her character. I don't care for her. I don't... <laughs> that's. I think it's a biased opinion. I don't care for her actress, either. Yeah. I don't like who she, how she conducts herself. That's yes. so. I want to table that just for a second. Oh, table it. All right. Because <laughs> I want to talk about that in a minute. But I knew you would want it. I knew you I would I did not like this movie at all. Oh, I whoa. thought that it was fucking stupid. And when you really think about it in like the, comp like the world of the Hunger Games... Sure. We did not need this. No, story. I'm all the sentiment. This book and should we're never gonna exist. Go we're yeah. going to go through a trilogy of this, right? Probably. Why? There's another book in this series. Wait, no, what? Is it? Yes, there is. No. You're lying to me. I didn't know this. Hold on. Stand by. That does change things. Are you sure? I'm not seeing anything up here. Yeah, but this is. The, you think that that book just ended, or that movie yeah. just ended like that? I mean, it's his origin story. I don't think so. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was just. A standalone origin story. I've always thought when this book came out from the start, I said, why? We all know what Snow became. We yeah. all know what happened to Snow. I don't think I mean, I it's cool to... I, as someone I think it's who cool. loves the so villain... There's so many stories yeah. to be told. Exactly. As someone who loves the villain, I'm always down to hear a villain origin story, but not his. I don't really mm. care about his. I love a good origin story. I w you know what I would have liked? And it's the same thing with Harry Potter. And I like, is like, okay, we got fantastic obese, right? Yeah. Stupid. And stupid. Why? Uh, nobody <laughs> wanted to know about that. Newt I agree. Newt. is fucking stupid. Nobody wanted to know about Newt. Yeah. What did we want to know? We wanted to see the fucking Tom founders. We, no, we oh. wanted to see the founders <laughs> yeah. of, of, the one, the of yeah, Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. see fucking Helga Hulp, Hufflepuff, Salazar yeah. Sullivan, whatever. It, or I would have taken... Voldemort in the yeah. whole like how the actual thing happened yep. like how the whole rebellion mm -hmm. same happened mm -hmm. same those are the two things that we got and we got fucking Newt the <laughs> way I've never been more angry at why a film we, than I was why did we get yeah. snow give me the first uh, Hunger Games yeah. I was gonna give say me the first yeah. Hunger Games. yeah yeah a thousand percent so the whole time I do I'm agree watching with I highly I'm agree watching with this movie and I'm like why the fuck am I watching this? I do agree with I wanted the first Hunger Games. And it was a little confusing because when he was a kid, it was like three years before the first 
Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. But then when the host, it like, it kind of threw me off because the host was like, I'm your first ever host of the annual. And I thought he had said when I first watched it, the first annual Hunger Games. And I sat there and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. And then last night I was like, oh, he's the first host of the Hunger That's Games. That's when they started televising it to get more viewers. But I agree. I think there was like fun moments of it. Like I like, I love um, Samuel Tucci. Yeah. And I love his character. And I love that that like, we got like pieces of like, or like, Kind of you like almost like callbacks, yeah. I guess in a way because it was like calling back to the original thing of it. Um, but I th- I felt so weird about so many relationships in that. I just movie. wish Lucy Gray mattered more in the end. Like there's I don't theories. Know what her? There's theories that she is related to not her grandmother, but related to Katniss, which to me makes perfect sense because of the song, because she mentions Katniss, because there there are connections. There's a lot like of connections. Snow's like unbridled hate for her. Yes, there's like, a lot, and and I wish that was just said. I wish that was just that that like connection blatant, was actually made instead of it being a theory i think that would have been more fun but then it but at the same time like there was there's a lot of pieces where i'm just like wait what like the the tree song like mm, yeah mm-hmm. yeah like that was rue and like her district and right like, right you know what i mean so it's like okay well if there is a connection there like what is that connection mm-hmm. then and mm-hmm. like what does that mean and if if we're not getting that answer and if we're not getting a second movie, then this I hate this movie even more <laughs> because I thought we were going to get a couple more answers in the second movie oh. of this. And if we're not, then yeah, they left us. They left us fucking high and dry, which I think was the point because it just showed him becoming a madman in the end. Mm-hmm. And that's like, but, how I, but that's the part that I didn't like is like, I don't get like, okay, so you were like really into this girl. And then like, so she show you yes. show one sign of yes. like, kind of apprehension distrust. and distrust i thought and this she too. fucking flees no and no no you no, go no crazy i thought this too the first time i watched it the second time i watched it it made so much more sense because you could tell throughout the the whole entire movie he is concerned about one thing money and his family that is it his name and his money and it, it's very evident throughout the whole thing so when he when he flees with her when he's like all right i'll go with you it's because he thinks he's dead in the water because of the gun the gun mm-hmm. is missing and, and if they he find finds the, the gun, gun at the safe he's house. gonna be known as the killer but he finds the gun and the second he finds the gun you see the, the switch, switch where he's like i don't have to be with her i can actually get the money i could do this thing and she you see her realize that something well she was already figuring it out that he was fucking crazy throughout the and end the there. line of like they told me to be wary of you yes so at the end when he sees that he picks up the gun you see the switch you could see in her face like oh fuck i gotta get out of here because he's gonna turn in like a mm-hmm. second mm-hmm. like it it the first time I watched the movie, I was right there. I wrote the same exact thing. And then the second time I watched it, I was like, oh, I saw he's it. just a psychopath. I still saw all that, but it was like, so you didn't actually like no, this girl. He didn't at all. No, I don't think, I don't think it was built up correctly as his character throughout. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think he had feelings, but I, I think, think it's the reverse redeeming of a, of a villain. I think you know she how most times him. you see a villain and they had the redeeming qualities of what made him a villain right yeah in this case i feel like they're trying to do it to us on a reverse and giving us a prequel to show as if like he had a heart at some point i don't think it made i don't think it like actually showed us that at all i feel like it was a poorly done way Mm. of showing us that he had some kind of like heart all he cared about was his family and even then yeah not that much yeah so I but thought like, it was just wasn't well made. Well, he she saved him. Remember when the rebels bombed the arena before yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she saves his life. I think there's a moment where he had this false sense of love where he was like, because nobody had helped him ever. Nobody has saved him. He's mm. been broke. His dad left him high and dry. His family was never really like, I don't know. I feel like there was a moment where maybe he thought that he felt love and he tried to help her. But I think he was just so focused on getting that money and, and getting revenge on that guy that didn't like him. Why did Lannister? Oh, Lannister didn't, He's not Lannister. <laughs> didn't like him because he created the Hunger Games drunkenly yeah, i thought that his, was like his, his backstory father. is his cool. backstory yeah, was his 10 backstory times was better great. he was drunk Again, and like, made the just... hunger games then was like we got to destroy this and then cornelius's dad was like no this is gonna be this is what i mean like it was just like it was it, there was a lot of really weird things i hated his interaction with his cousin Tigress. I love her though. I love Hunter I Schaefer. I like her, but like he literally held her like a lover's embrace. Yeah. And I was like, I am physically fucking uncomfortable <laughs> watching this. Like, yeah. And then you, I don't know. It was just like, it was just like a lot of, 
again, like it was like a lot of like cool things that like called back to some stuff. Yeah. And then there was a lot of weird things that like just movie wise were unsettling to me. Like why was the connection with him and his cousin so strong? Mm. And then we didn't never fucking see her again. And then like, yeah, we do in the movies. Yeah. No, I know. I know later yeah. in the movies, but I'm saying like he like embraced her with like, like with grabbing her face and bringing it mm-hmm, like nose to nose. Mm-hmm, like that is mm-hmm. a lover's embrace. I was mm-hmm. physically uncomfortable seeing that. And then like from then on, you don't see her yeah. in the movie. And th- I don't know. There was just like moments like that where I was just like, what the fuck am I watching? Why does this? Ma-? And then ultimately it's that overarching, like, why does this matter? Like mm-hmm. we know how it ends up. Well, I think for new audiences. So I don't know who told me this. I cannot for the life of me remember who told me this, but they had a friend that had never seen the hunger games was it you that somebody just told me this never seen the hunger games at all and their friend watched this one and they loved it like obsessed so she went and watched the other hunger games and i guess she was like it's just not hitting the same i don't like these ones and so i was like wow from somebody's point of view who don't know doesn't know anything about the hunger games has never seen them this is the first movie you watch i can imagine enjoying it and being like oh this is really cool and then starting the other ones and being like what the fuck is this it's always trying to grab a new audience yeah that's, that's the main i thought it was interesting inter- i thought that was but interesting that is an interesting thought so let's go back to rachel ziegler because <laughs> i have a lot of thoughts on her um mm. okay so actually before we start doing that i want to say viola davis is my favorite character of the whole movie oh she's oh my god she's so freaking good, good. Actually, her backstory too. <laughs> actually that whole plot line was fantastic yeah yes i love like her snakes, game maker oh my god um, the so way good. that like he tricked him like tricked all of the snakes yep. and shit like yeah. with the, with the it scent was is, yes. so good incredible Chef's kiss incredible i love it. her in general uh, she was embodying what snow was going to become mm-hmm. and i thought that was just such a uh, she was so it's good you she's the best be. one yeah everybody else i don't give a fuck about but viola davis chef's kiss agree so okay rachel ziegler and peter dinklage so <laughs> there's been I've, i don't know i don't maybe it's like headlines for buzzfeed like making me feel stupid but um basically okay. like people are angry at rachel ziegler right because she got on her press junket for snow white snow white Mm -hmm. she is snow white and she legitimately said this movie we could legitimately cut out the main lead male meat main male lead and it would not affect the story and she was like this is like not gonna be the the she basically said she hated it too like yeah she said she hated it yeah growing up yep that it was a i watched it once and i never watched it again because i didn't like it or something (laughs) like look up the interview that like it actually was it's on a red you can find a compilation of it you can find a compilation of a lot of shit she says yeah she said what was the other thing the first thing she said something about like this is like a woman's empowerment or like yeah yeah. something along the lines we don't need no man we don't need men in our storylines and like it's like I get that. Yeah. I love that. I love that sentiment. I, when you are remaking Time and something, place, though. Yeah. When you are remaking a storyline that mm-hmm. is a fairy tale that has been done several times, it is like as a song as old as time. Yep. Basically. Nice. Good callback. Yeah, callback call back to... <laughs> it is a Disney movie that is highly beloved. Yep. And you are trashing it it's on your press junket. Not a good start and not going to get people to go see your movie. I'm sorry. Somebody in your <laughs> management still team. still going to go see it. Somebody in yeah. your management team failed you. Yes. Yeah. You, and you failed you. She's a great singer, too, and a great actress. And uh, I thought she, her accent was really off-putting. I yeah. fucking just hated the singing in this movie. I hated singing, too. Like, it just came so out of nowhere when she's walking down. Like, when she gets chosen. It gave main character energy in the wrong way yeah it, it was main character energy. it's just like <sighs> look at me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 i'm gonna show yeah. all of you that i'm upset yeah <laughs> <laughs> get over was, yourself I, don't know. I hated it i hate it like katniss like had such a more subtle yeah yes and i and i don't like jennifer lawrence as I an actor jennifer like that lawrence. i think you know what not that i don't like her i think unfortunately she just gets cast in a lot of the same things, so I don't yeah. see her as a character anymore. I see her as Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. You know? Well, she was never meant to be an actress, which I think is funny. She really? was. Oh, she was discovered on the street. You didn't know that? Oh, good for her. She was like standing in New York City, and somebody came up to her and was like, "Have you ever thought about modeling or acting?" And she was that like, "That happened no. to me once." Really? Yeah. And you should have taken it. I did. I went. Oh. oh. Did a whole thing. Like I remember my parents taking me. I think it was in New Haven. They came up to us and then play less. 
no way yeah he's like i think your daughter would be great for modeling like you should come and we showed up and it was like a whole scam oh of course they wanted us to pay them of course but i, I appreciate Damn. my parents for taking me that's so that's funny. sweet of them well she crushed it but i i don't know the singing also in the beginning when she gets selected for the reaping she walks by that boy yeah and she's like and he's like i'm sorry i didn't see this coming or something and yeah. then she also sings to somebody back in district 12 yeah what is that story because why she, was that she, included so she was the daughter of the mayor and were we so, just supposed to know this yeah it was it was explained was it basically actually she got this. put into the games by the daughters because she's the daughter of the mayor what did and she was this? upset about the guy because i think they were like seeing each other or they were good, good friends or they uh, were dating the girl thought that lucy gray was with that kid in some way you know it's jealous kind of girl sure, shit. sure sure and so she basically like threw her name into the hat i purpose, missed that whole thing which is why she was so she knew she it was, was coming it was a little bit too much like um i missed that lucy gray was a little bit too much like i'm not like the other girls very much well yeah and, okay this is a random like screenshot of the movie mm-hmm. and like honestly if i told you this was eight mile i think you'd believe me oh i told i sent that yeah. didn't i or didn't i tell you that we said it was eminem yeah what's his like, name what's this guy's name I, I forget. forget his name. He looks really hot as a blonde. He is he's, not very hot as a brunette. I think he's so hot. Tom Blythe, right? Tom Blythe. He can yeah. get it. Him, he's older, right? The minute, I, I think hope. Rachel. I, hope. I, think Rachel <laughs> I really hope. Before I say more. I think Rachel Ziegler is beautiful. Beautiful. Too. She's like. How old is Tom Blythe? I'm working on it. And okay. I think she's really like special on screen. Yeah. Like, I think she's a. I think she is a good actress. Or 95. Okay. Close. So she's close. Yeah. That's or close. Close, close enough. Yeah. Close enough. Um. And I think she has a great voice and I think that she commands a presence on screen and like all the right things. But like, I really do think that she's going to have a really hard time moving past what she did. Mm-hmm. On the I, red yeah, I didn't for appreciate people. how yeah. she conducted herself on some of these things. I understand trying to revolutionize. Uh, I understand that. I get it. Um, but this is where the conversation time comes place, in. Like you said. Uh, yeah, time yeah. and place. But this is where the conversation comes and it gives fuel to the fire to those who were causing shit about Little Mermaid. Right? Yeah because of things like this you're gonna have people be like see we were right they're trying to ruin the originals and the classics like why touch them why add a black actress you don't need that right that's That's what's happening yeah and that's being conflated with somebody making a stupid comment about like taking the romance out of a romance story yeah Yeah. like Like, like, i'm I'm sorry like at the basis that's what she said basically we're taking a romance out of the romance yeah Mm -hmm. That is the fucking and also, dumbest like, thing ever. Also disrespecting her counterpart actor who is working pretty hard yeah. to like have his yeah. role too. And she's like, yeah, he doesn't matter. And to me, <laughs> like, like, what the fuck, man? I would think about it like, if you're going to do that, right? The whole, we're going to women's Snow empowerment White on its head. Sure. Then don't say it's a remake. Don't exactly. call it a remake. Make exactly. it a call it reimagining. A, like, it's like, can movies just be fucking movies, man? Can we just tell no. stories? No. Nothing's ever just what it Stop is. Stop doing interviews. Jesus. Well, <laughs> that's the other thing is like, you know, I, I said this before, but like somebody in the management team really failed her. Yeah. And like there is something to be said about media literacy and media coaching and interview coaching. Mm-hmm. And by God, like you better not get in front of a fucking camera and, and not know what you're going to say. She yeah. honestly, I don't know if she comes back from this. We'll see. She might. I, I think know. this movie probably know. helped a lot, though, to be honest with I you. I don't know, because it's all I could think about. When it's I all I could think about, too. Really? When I saw that, I didn't know it was her. Mm, right? I didn't know it was her either. So That's when I, I saw it was her, it. I was like, oh, man. I didn't even make the connection. I just hated the way she, like, I, like there is something visceral in me that makes me not like her. Yeah, it, I'm upset by well, it. I hate that I have that. I want to talk about the Hunger Games, because I think it's the most interesting thing about all of this. So you mentioned we would have loved an origin story of the first yeah. annual Hunger Games. Yeah. So I, I guess my question is like, how do you get there? How do you get to a point where it's so bad that you're putting children in a gauntlet to fight for the death? Why was it children? Still don't understand that. Mm. Uh, they bring it up a couple times in this movie. Like, what? Are, what? Why do the Hunger Games exist, or what do they mean? It, it was a. Uh, it's. And he, he was like, I used to think it was revenge on the districts. It was to teach the districts a lesson yeah. for trying to revolt. So where did it come from, though, that they were like children? The children of the districts who tried to revolt are the ones that got sent Honestly, in. Honestly? No adults tried to revolt? No, no. I think, I think it, was, it, was, the, it was like What revenge, you do is... It was like a, because you're going after the kids. You're going after yeah. children. It's yeah. just how it is now. Yeah, you yeah, affect the children. Right. Children are what people go for in everything because yeah. they're the future. Yeah. So I do think it is political like as much as you want to say like it's not political oh it's totally political i think that especially like you know i watched handmaid's tale 
And the first thing that I thought was like, oh shit, like this could happen. Oh, mm. and we're like, close to I think there's no way Hunger Games could happen. I don't think Hunger Games could happen, but I, it's like now that we're where we're at right now in society, I'm like, okay, mm. Mm. give us. I just feel like give us two hundred years. If it was like televised and like treat it like this, yeah, there would be a lot of revulsion, which I think there is in the districts, right? But it takes all the way up till Katniss. The, the <laughs> capital is what they only care about. The capitals, right, 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 right. They don't care about the viewers watching in the district, really. Like they're gonna yeah. watch anyway to but see who is, wins. Like, it's an interesting thought. Like the whole but thing. But it's an al- it. it's an allegory for like the capitalist elite. Yeah, and like the way that like the capital treats the rest of the country and the rest of like the the districts because of like their excessive wealth they're so detached from you know you're right the amount of times i sit here and i'm like this is impossible nothing like this can happen and then i'm like the holocaust happened Mm -hmm. shit like that happens all the time Mm -hmm. like shit's happening right now and i'm like like, think about how detached the like celebrities yeah you're right like society right right. now that like the things that they say and the way that they like conduct themselves Mm -hmm. is so you appalling you're right yeah you're they don't even realize what they're doing when they try to be like when they try to put themselves in our shoes they fuck it up royally and you're seeing right you're seeing right now like the the fall of the influencer the fall of the celebrity (sighs) i just wish it would fall harder me too (laughs) and faster (laughs) and faster i have a question yeah if the hunger games did exist what's your strategy because i actually hide oh i came up with mine oh okay Mine would be let the guards shoot me before I get in because there's no way I'm killing somebody yeah. and there's no way I'm getting killed by I'd like a hide. pickaxe or something. I was thinking about because the way this one was um, set up in this Hunger Games, it was all in that stadium thing. Yes. I thought that was so He said at the freaky. beginning, he said, get on your mark or we'll shoot you. Yeah. And I said, that's where I would just not get on my mark. A, yeah. it's an act of rebellion. Yeah. B, I'm getting shot right away. Mm-hmm. So that's an easy death. I'm yeah. not getting stabbed with by a hatchet by fucking Shonda over there who's got a <laughs> fucking... No, I don't want that. Just take me out right away and I'm done. Sorry, but you would hide? I would hide. That's it? Yeah. What else, What are you doing? I hope they find you. Mm-hmm, where are you hiding? <laughs> At, in, that, in that arena? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's tough. I don't know. I, I don't would think probably I could do try well. to hide too. Yeah, but then it's down to you and the last person. What happens? Do you take that life? I f- hope to fall on my sword. Mm. I don't think I can take a life. I don't think I can. I'm. I'm too... I care too much about what the other person's thinking or feeling to be able to kill them unless like if it's like life or death life or death let's say it's me and erica fighting to the death we're just fighting and i'm just trying to defend myself mm. but just through the fence i happen to hit her artery and she fucking bleeds <laughs> out <laughs> then that's erica, the way it goes erica, be careful tonight <laughs> maybe sleep with one eye open <laughs> I'm just give an um, example very specific yeah no totally the one thing that you. i don't like love about this one that like kind of mirrored like the wait you didn't tell us yours though no i'm getting to it okay is like there was too many like people that were like villains there was a lot yeah i get it in the later hunger games because there's people that were like fuck yeah glory and like Mm. you're kind of like trained for years and years to like do it sure this was the first televised one so you aren't you don't know what it's like yeah and you still had that like villain grouping of people that were like we're gonna fuck people up i mean it makes sense and it, plus they had their mentors in their ear being like you have to do this for the cameras you have to like really it was the first year of mentors too yeah i but just I, think, I don't know i, I th- think that there was too many people that were like too vicious i I guess, but when it, I mean, like I said, it's life or death at that point. I also don't understand the idea of grouping together. You all, you're yeah. stronger in numbers until you're until not. you're not. Until but like, then, no, that's a very human fucking thing. Yeah, to do. it's just a that mentality. Is a very, very. I know. I just, I don't think I would. But it makes the most sense. Little lone wolf. I don't know. I think I would. I think Honestly, I would go with a if it came down to it, I probably would. I'd, I'd go probably with a partner. Stick with someone and yeah, I would go with a partner. I wouldn't go with a group. Mm. yeah partner yeah I think but then that makes it even feels worse a little <laughs> because then you're getting really close with this person and then at the end it's like yeah but i hope that they die by somebody someone else someone else's yeah, hand yeah. not mine i don't know so what's your strategy i think i would go with a partner and i think i would like just try to like defend my base mm. mm-hmm. so you'd, you'd, you'd set up a base yeah see the the newer hunger games make sense because yeah you're like in a forest in like this dome essentially. it's cool to see the the evolution of technology between this movie and yes the, the i just trilogy. think the, the later hunger game is so much cooler like the way that I they like create the, the game map 
yeah. and like oh, the they maps. create the yeah. like these like things that drive them together. Like mm. I think all of that was just so brilliant. Yeah, and, like, watching cool. this is like the beginning of it. Yeah, watching no, this yeah, made yeah, me that. want to watch Same. the original trilogy. So I feel like I kind of want to see the progression that again. Yeah, and Same. how Katniss's story came about. So it is really interesting, but I don't know. This Hunger Games seemed fun. I like that it wasn't like the whole movie. <coughs> like we got more story. <laughs> like the Hunger Games ended and there was still so much movie left. I didn't love that. Mm. I didn't hate it. I, I thought it was long. It was long. Yeah, I, it was I was the only person long. in the theater. So I was, was like, damn, dead. these poor employees are. Were you really? I was the only one. It felt long to me. It was a little long. I, I do agree with that. It felt long for like no reason. Like I was. I didn't like love like some of the back end story. Like th- when he like shot that guy, I was like, wh- the, that whole scene happened when he shot the guy. Yeah. I was like, wh- what? The fuck that felt rushed. I liked his friend so much. Well, it wasn't even that his friend. he freaking, you know, what is his name? Fetus or something? <laughs> Festus. I don't know. I think it was names. Festus. The names. Festus. Like, Festus. Hold on. I'm working on it. They were all weird. I don't Pretty know. Pretty sure it was Fetus. I don't know, man. I, liked, I don't know. I liked him. He was like. You know, he he got it. He understood. But I I didn't like that Cornelius kept throwing it. Coriolanus kept throwing it back in his face, like, "Well, your dad is rich, so you can be a rebel, essentially." And it's like such a little brat. He's like, you know, he's just a fucking good person. Like, and then he gets him killed. I don't know. It was pretty nuts. But I I do think that it is an allegory for like the the capitalist elite. Yeah, I need to rewatch Hunger Games I now. Think there's a, there, I think there's I a little to. bit more yeah. there politically than you think. Oh, no, there definitely is. Who do you hate more, Snow or Katniss? Ooh. <laughs> what? You hate... I forgot you hate she Katniss. She hates Katniss, I yeah. forgot. There's no way you hate Katniss more than you hate Snow, you weirdo. Maybe she does. No. Mm-hmm. Morally? Um. Why do you hate Katniss? Because she's... She's a whiny bitch. <laughs> Not even a little I think bit we should make. I think I think the comparison's more Lucy Gray. I was gonna say Katniss. Lucy Gray next, but I think I hate. Okay, I but if Lucy, Lucy Gray, Gray wasn't more. that girl, yeah, would if you it hate wasn't her as much? That's played by who was played by. <laughs> exactly. If she dropped the accent, maybe Katniss. I didn't like the accent. The accent I don't remember really the accent. bothered. It was, was it southern. Very, it was southern, almost like You're right. wannabe New Orleans kind of. Oh, I call it every time an actor has an accent that's not american and they're doing an american accent i always get it because he said something and i said wait a second that sounded kind of like irish almost i was like he's not american i looked it up no, he's, he's in english yeah but i always get it every time so i i don't i watched a video about it and basically um the reason for that is that like british and australian they use less muscles in their oh. in their mouth and their tongue when they talk mm-hmm. so it's it's, oh, a, oh, oh, so it's a, it's their a tongue lot stays in the bottom of their mouth the entire time oh. there it's a lazier language basically so that's how i feel yeah about this lazier language that's how I feel about this so for mm-hmm. them it's easier to like build up the strength in their in to their do mouth our to do our accents interesting than us to do theirs because we have to like is this true and that's probably yes yes and it's probably why like when i'm drunk i do a better like british accent see but people say always say that we have the lazier i always heard it the opposite so that's no, when it comes to verbiage, they're verbiage more posh. yes but the oh, actual but the, the way that our got the it. way we say our words but then you go to the south and they got that southern drawl that's well just that's like based off of british and yeah that's, yeah, that's more oh. british based. so southern the southern accent was basically derived derived from the british accent so a lot of the brits were down there it became a slow drawl what mixed in with those who were already there and it just it turned into the southern accent thanks for joining us on stuff you should know i'm your host (laughs) (laughs) and the boston like new york brit uh, like british oh my god the boston accent they wanted to do the exact opposite and that's why the boston accent is like so much harsher and the new york england new england accent is so much harsher language it's amazing isn't it weird okay what else do we have to say about this movie before we wrap it up um i give it like a solid c minus c minus okay we just got rid of like numbers i'll give it a b minus B minus. Okay. C plus. Nice. That's solid. I'm always in the middle. That's like right in there. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I enjoyed the ride when I was on it. You know, I still have my moments where I was like, why does she keep singing? Mm, yeah. Same. I, you're same. wasting a lot of screen time by singing. Big time. Same. Um, Sure. You have outfits that are crazy. Thought it looked you're good. not like other girls. Whatever. And then <laughs> him, I felt um, 
disconcerted because he was so attractive. Yeah, he's so attractive. And so I was like, that's not fair because in the other movies, he's ugly as fuck. So he's a good looking older dude. I, yeah, uh, I, lo- I love yeah. Donald Sutherland. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't think I'm Donald not Sutherland. attracted to him. But <laughs> Donald Sutherland has the biggest dome piece in the fucking world. He's got a he's big got dome big. piece. He's Is that his head? head yeah. Yes. Yeah, his head's big. Yeah, big head. Big ass head. Um, I like the Sutherland. I don't find him attractive. Um, I wish that it like Lucy Gray was not who she was, but <laughs> and I think what's his face was super hot. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not angry. Head. I'm mm-hmm. not angry that I watched this movie. I think I'm glad that it I looks did. like Austin Butler though. Kind of, and I love Austin Butler. I don't know what that is. A less you know who Austin version. Butler is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I know. Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Elvis. Yeah, I love they do. Him. I think Austin has a bigger, like a wider face. Yeah, I think he's way sexier. But Same. anyways. <laughs> the right. i think this movie like i i really thought there was a second or third so if it doesn't have a is second that true or, third, or did we ever come to a conclusion on I that i guess we could look it up here right? we are again without having the facts on uh, our it's like book podcast what is, is the name of another yeah, yeah you google it ballad <laughs> she doesn't know the name of this fucking book Oh, there are man. currently no announced plans for another Good. film movie in the franchise. Producer Nina Jacobson, who what has overseen book? all five Hunger Games films, has said she is uninterested in making another installment unless author Suzanne Collins writes another story. Okay. So no, so we no. are free. I hate this book. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever read it? No. After watching it, no. When it came oh, out, sure. I said I will not read this book because mm. I was like, why? I don't. It's just too far past what I care about Hunger Games now. Yeah. Like and like, I also reading part wise. of that, to, like I, I would watch also, I would also like to note that like um, the Harry Potter stuff is like in reference to prior to the downfall of, yeah. <laughs> of J.K. Rowling. I have a question: Do we do Dune? Ooh, uh, we said it when it we watched watch the first it. film. Watch. Because I watched I it again watch, on we Friday night. We watched the first film. We said we were going to so do good. Dune. It's so fucking good. I'm going to see bo- uh, movie two tonight. I think we should do it. It's so good. You know that came before Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I just don't want us to go into the podcast. You'd be like, it's Star Wars. <laughs> no, 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 we knew before Star Wars. Yeah. Um, my uncle passed away in this December, and he had he had gotten stomach cancer earlier in 2023, uh, like stage four um, stomach cancer, and he's a huge Dune fan. Loved really? It, like Aww. loved all the books, reading them. Um, and he really just, he told his doctor, he was like, I just want to make it to the release of oh. Dune 2. Oh. And they pushed it back. Because I of know. the, Damn. oh, that just made me so sad. So yeah. when I said goodbye to him, I was like, you better come through when I go to a medium mm. and I'll tell you all about Dune, Dune 2. Dune 2. Aw. When are you going to go see it? I think we're going to try to go see it all, like all the cousins. Good. I love there. that. Idea. I love that. That's so sweet. Yep. I think we should do Dune then. I think that would be a nice homage. That'd be great. I like. Yeah, that. yeah. let's yeah. do that. I would read it. I, I have too. it. I don't. I don't want to <laughs> sign myself up. For I got that. it upstairs. You want to take a look? I mean, you you could. S- prints yet? So I know. Fuck yeah. Me. You let's, let's let's walk before you run. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, how did you feel about Hunger Games? Did you care about a prequel, or were you done? Did you want this to happen? No, also, me neither. <laughs> what's your tactic? How are you surviving the Hunger Games? Let us know. Yeah. Uh, go over on our Instagram. That's books underscore N underscore Betches. B-E-T-C-H-E-S. Recommend a book. Um, we used to get a ton. I think now we're getting We got some recommendations less. on our thriller YouTube. episode on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us some more recommendations. Any genre you choose. Let us know. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube. Just look up Books and Betches. And we'll catch you next week. We love you. Bye, guys. Bye.